Hello and welcome back to the Fodor player career mode. In the last episode, we got our first ever Ballon d'Or nomination. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but the fact we got nominated was excellent. And unfortunately, in the last episode, we did get a big injury, which made us miss around 15 games. And this is how the table stands as we do sit in a third, three points behind the league leaders into Milan. Last season, we won by about 15 points or 17 points or something outrageous, but this season looks to be a little bit closer. To kick off this episode, we are coming off the bench against Torino as we are still coming back from our injury. And we instantly created a chance to take the lead as we laid it off to our captain for him to shoot very far wide. Torino then went down to the other end of the field after some nice build-up play and took the lead. They nearly made it 2-0 with their centre-back hitting the crossbar, but we didn't create another chance as we lost our first game of the episode 1-0. So as we are in January, uh, we have made a signing called Simon Pada, who plays for River Plate. He has moved for us for 31 million. He's a left back. So we've actually got a new starting left back now. Um, as our other left back was actually only 67 rated. And he's been like that the whole season. So this is actually a good improvement. And now we do have a big, big match as we play host to second place, Atalanta. Now we are six points behind after that loss to Torino last time out. And Inter Milan did win their game. So we're six points behind. We can't fall behind anymore. Let's get a big result. And also, Para is starting. So he's getting his first start for the team. But hopefully the front three of the Georgian and Oshim and Fodor can do the job. Atalanta cooking already. They're cooking already. It's a chance. It's just wide. Not a good start from us. And Oshim's fucking injured. Nah, it's been a great start to the game so far. Atalanta, that is fucking horrible. Jesus. Nice ball. Fodor picks it up. The Georgian. Can you play me through? Why did you kick it so hard? Why did he do that? What the fuck? Chance. Chance. Chance for Atalanta. What a save. Yeah, that works. That works. Fuck. That was a great save. No, no, no. Yes. Good tackle. Georgian, play me. Georgian, play me. Yes. Fodor. He could be away. Use your, pa use your pace. Whoa. What was that? Oshim! No, I don't know why he said that. Touch was way bigger than it should have been. Oh, Saliba. You're asleep, mad. No way that's got him through. Chance! That's, a, that's an excellent... A keeper has saved our ass. It should be 3-0 down. That's half time, and we are very, very, very lucky to still have a clean sheet. Our keeper's been on fucking roids. Yeah, that works. That works. That works. Photo with the chance! No! I just need a little bit further away from the keeper, and that's in. Oh, this big fucker's in my way. He's pissing me off. He's too bloody tall. Nice play. How has that got through? We don't know. Georgian. Yeah, that works. Fodor. Fodor to stand himself. Come on. It's a huge goal in the title race. Come on. We're being shit today in every department. And we take the lead. Crucial, crucial goal. All right, Atalanta are cooking. Atalanta are cooking. Keeper, we need you. No, we don't, because he skied it. And that's full time. Fodor's goal is the difference. And we just squeezed past Atalanta. And we have unfortunate news. We have sold one of our best players, Elmas, to Bayern for 75 mil. Nice. We've just weakened ourselves. Awesome. But now we have back-to-back -back big games. First, Atalanta. Second, League leaders into Milan. Four points ahead of us after 20 games played as they dropped points last time out. Very big game and a very big win needed. Lovely ball. Fodor. Fodor's an early. Oh, the keeper's hit a bear. Fodor strikes. That's what he does. He was nominated to the Ballon d'Or for a reason. He's a goal for it. He's a goal scorer. And we take the early lead against the league leaders. Half time. It's been a pretty dull game, but Fodor's goal does give us the lead. We're 45 minutes away from a very big win. Georgian back to me. It's Fodor. Can he find his teammate? He can! And he puts it away! It's 2-0 to Napoli! And the title race is truly opening up here. Fodor on the free kick for Napoli. It's Fodor! It's just over. Fuck, I put too much power on that. He's not as good as Iverson at free kicks, unfortunately. Chance. Hoyland. Yeah, nah. That shit, mate. Full time. 2-0. Defensive masterclass. We really only created like two chances all game. We scored both of them. Good three points. And it's a big three points in the title race. 
And we have another big game. So many big games in a row here. As you can see, we are one point off Inter Milan in the title race, but we now play against Juventus at home. Juventus do sit a little bit away from us. Seven points, or is it six points? I can't do math. Seven points off the top, six points off us. But if they win this game, they're in the title race, so we have to win again. Oh, what a ball. How's that got through? Can you find me? It's a little bit deeper than I wanted, but it's fine. Fodor. Yes, it's beautiful. Shoot the ball. This fucking game's ass. Honest. Honest to God. Honest to fucking God. That's a good ball. Oh, she went the back post. It's in. The perfect start. Fucking hell. You lay it off to someone at the edge of the box. You tell them to shoot. They run away from goal. I oh, fucking hell. That's some stupid shit. Okay. Okay, Juventus. Cooking. They're cooking. They're cooking. Why can't anyone shoot at the moment? Georgian, play me. Fodor, sprint for it. Sprint for it. He's handballed that. Thank you. That should be a red card. I was one on one. I'm through now. Fodor. No, it's a good save. Fuck. I should have scored that. Chance for Juventus. It's a big chance. It's a good save. And that's half time. We lead 1 0. And again, it's defensively been bloody, bloody good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck are we doing? Why are we doing that? Yeah, Felix scores. We gift them a goal because they're a bunch of fuckwits at the back. Brother, just clear it. Why are we trying to play out from the back in this situation? There is five Juventus players in the box. Jesus Christ. Nice ball. Fodor could be in. Fodor is in. It's Fodor. It's Christian. Fodor, it's in. It's bottom corner. That is a finish. That is a finish. Napoli take back the lead after gifting Juventus a goal. Para, oh, get out of It's a beautiful finish. We are really doing well in these big head-to-head -head six pointers. Okay. Yao Felix is fucking messy. What's going on? What is going on? What a save! Oh my god, I keep it so good. Oh my god, what a fucking He saved it again! What a what an assist that would have been. Good ball down line. Fodor. Last action of the game, it should be. It's Fodor. Still Fodor. Can I find Oshim at the back post? No, because he's run centrally. Why have you run centrally, F fucking Oshim? What are you doing? Go on, Oshim, shoot. He's done it. Oshim finishes the game. I was kind of waiting for him to pass me. I thought he was like fucking around waiting to pass me. Oshim scores. And it is three points for Napoli. That's obviously full time, and we are hitting some form at the exact right time. Imagine if we dropped points against Atalanta and Inter and Juventus. We would have been in a big heap of trouble, but we bet them all, and we may go top. And the important games keep flooding in. Now we host Fiorentina, who actually are in the top four in the league. So they're not exactly going to be any pushovers. We're playing them in the round of 16, the Coppa Italia. We can't get the triple this year, because obviously we were injured, but we did lose in the Super Cup. But we can still get... A triple with the Champions League, I guess. That'd be a big upgrade. I don't know what that defender's doing. It's a foul! That's a foul! I've won the ball. I've gone to get it. He's fucking taking me out. That is some bullshit. Oh, fuck. Oh, we just came back from an injury. I'm not going to be a fan of this. Chance for Fiorentina. It's a good ball. Keeper! I mean, you dived over the ball, um, but I guess that works. Half-time, nil -all. We'll see how we go in the second half. We may not make it out of this game. Nice ball, Fodor. Fodor with the chance! Oh, it's nearly gone in! Oh, shit, that's actually a good hit. Out to me. Oh, my... This game could fucking suck a dick. This game could suck a dick. That's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to say. Pass it to, to someone to shoot. Why? Oh, fuck off. Look at this pressure from Fodor. He's done well there. He's done very well. We have to score this. We quite literally have to score. And we do score. Oh, we get the lead. I mean, we're going to have to come off because we're still injured. So we can barely run anymore. But even with an injury, Fodor was cucking them with the press. And he's coming off now. Hopefully, it's not a long injury. And hopefully, we can win this game. Which we do. We're into the next round. Get the fuck in. All right. It is only a slight injury. So we're going to miss one game, which is against Fiorentina, which we're about to play now. So we're away to Fiorentina. We win 3-1. Get in. And as the window has closed, we have made two big signings. We signed Shed Nador. 
centre mid. He actually played against Fiorentina in the cup, and he actually scored the goal that gave us the win. I didn't know he had signed yet, though, for 44 million. And we also signed a new right back, Molina, the Argentinian, 86 overall from Chelsea for 50 million. We'll take that. Fourth is dodgy, so actually, I'm pretty happy with that. Also, player of the month shortlist is up and running, and of course, Fodor is there as usual. And now we have another big game. We host Roma. And as you can see at the table, we went from six points behind to four points ahead. The other teams have been dropping points and Napoli have started to pick up the slack. Roma do shit, seventh fighting for Champions League football. Now it's time to extend our lead at the top. Roma cooking, Roma cooking, and it's over. Why did you turn like that? How did I not get a foul? Yeah, awesome. The ball goes through my foot, as usual. Ah, oh, this game's ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, this game's fucking awful. How many times does the ball have to go through my fucking player? Oh my god, they've opened us up. That's in. <sighs> Who scored that? Camavinga, I think. Camavinga scores, and it's not a good start from Napoli. Go, go, Fodor. Yes, Fodor wins it. To wash him at the edge. Why have you played that back to me? It doesn't matter. Fodor makes it work. Oh my lord, Oshim. You're just supposed to shoot that. You're supposed to shoot that. I was not ready for a pass back. Luckily, it bounced back to us. And Fodor strikes again and gets us level. Nice. Back to me, back to me. Lift back. Oh, you're an idiot. No, fuck. <laughs> oh, brother in Christ. Why do we keep injuring ourselves this season? That's the third injury this season. And we're in fucking February now. And that's half time. It is one all here. But unfortunately, we do have an injury. Maybe ran it off. I'm not sure. We'll find out in the second half, I guess. And we have run off the injury. Thank God for that. Stop passing to me off kickoff. It's annoying. Can we counter now? Oh, I think I timed that perfectly. I think I did. I did do it. There's no support. I'm going for goal. And it's just not squeezed in. And it's opened up for Roma. It's opened up. It's opened up. Darwin. Good save. He misses sitters all the time. So it's okay. And it's last kick of the game here with a corner. And we clear it out. And that should be full time. Referee. It is full time. A one all draw. Yeah. Wasn't our greatest performance to be honest. But at the end of the day. We have to take a point. Unfortunately, we did not win the part of the month. That is a robbery, a disgrace, corruption. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, it's not going to be as long as usual because I got a bit of a headache and I'm fucking, I'm barely here mentally, to be honest. But we do have a four-point lead of Atalanta, five over into Milan. We turned around brilliantly in this episode. And in the Coppa Italia quarterfinals, there is a lot of big names. Milan play Roma, we host Lazio, Inter host Juventus and Salentana play Torino. But that's going to be it for this episode. In the next one, we will kick off our Champions League knockout run as we travel away to PSV in the first leg, which we should win, you'd assume, but you never know in the knockout stage of Europe. But hope you all enjoyed, like subscribe if you did, and I'll see you boys in the next episode.